Tara Jester says, hello. Actually, she says, hello, Milo. What is your favorite part of the turkey? And please explain why it is the dark meat. It's the gizzard. Really? Yes, the gizzard. The, the bit. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a terrible turkey sound, actually. Um, but on the subject of turkey, I do wish that Donald Trump had spear, had, had, had uh, killed the turkey and pardoned Roger Stone instead. <laughs> and my favorite part of the, the gizzard. Now, Roger has not been sentenced, right? Uh, sentencing is in February. So I have okay. a book coming out. I'm going to, okay, following your lead and your expert friendly advice, I'm going to get better at promoting myself because I've always been terrible at it. Um, so uh, I have a book coming out called Roger Stone on Trial. Uh, which will come out around the time of the sentencing. Uh, my royalties are going to his appeal fund. And um, uh, so that's basically done pretty much. I'm just kind of like tinkering with it, but we're going to release it in January because uh, it's a little bit too close to Christmas for a book because, you know, books have long lead times and things. Yeah, which stuff. Be shit. So, so uh, it'll come out in January and be out in time for sentencing so that hopefully we can have made a, a nice dent in his appeal um, uh, a fund. Sorry, I really fucked him. I'm sitting in this courtroom and and I'm looking at the jury and I'm like, mm, dear. And this is the judge who like threw out the Benghazi thing and ruled against Catholics versus Planned Parenthood and you know blah 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 blah. Uh, maximum donations to this and all the rest of it. And and you know it just it was. I've never. I mean, look, you hear about like stitch ups, deep state, blah blah blah. You just think, oh, okay, fine. This is Alex Jones thing. This is what people talk about. I've never like sat. I, I was there for the whole trial. I was I was in D.C. for the whole trial for uh, Roger's entire thing. I've never watched, I mean, I've watched like unfair things happen. I've watched evil things happening. I've watched all kinds of terrible shit in my life. Um, but I've never seen like an IRL deep state stitch up like this trial, like from the- They were determined to lock him down, right? I mean, yeah, from the jury selection to the, yeah. cause you know, you know, they locked in the right judge. Cause of course, if, if, the, if the government is prosecuting you, in a government venue with a government employee judge and government this that, and the other there's so many little mechanisms of the bureaucracy they can use so they use this obscure mechanism to lock in the judge they wanted because it was you know this famously left-wing trump-hating obama appointee judge um so they used this like clever maneuver to lock in the judge they wanted the and on, on day one of jury selection before the trial even started this is when i knew he was fucked um a woman came in whose husband was a Department of Justice lawyer working on security policy, whose best friend worked in the, um, the, the DC, uh, lo the local uh, prosecutor's office, which was literally the team that was prosecuting Roger. She herself had worked in the Obama White House as a senior communications official. And this person was not struck from the jury pool by the judge because the judge said she has credibly persuaded me that she can set all of that aside and be impartial in this trial. And I just thought, it was like, yeah, it's over. <laughs> in peace, my friend. You're dying in jail. Um, so the the only the only no. uh, hope, the only hope we have is the presidential. Yeah, I'm gonna say okay. Chances uh, one out of ten, I guess. Uh, well, 10 the the he's, gonna, he's gonna leave the pardons until after he's reelected, which is no longer a certainty. So I, I don't. Um, I wouldn't if I if I were Rogers, if I were Rogers' lawyer, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't count on it. I would say that. Power. I wouldn't um, count on Trump ever doing anything for any of the people who have ever helped him. Really? Now, why do you say that? Well, I mean, this guy's famously uh, shit at rewarding loyalty and doing right by his supporters. He's done nothing as all of his most effective supporters have been wiped from social media and the internet, which is going to be so much of a bigger problem for him in the election than he, than he thinks it is. Um, think about the energy and excitement that was behind Trump with like me on campus and, you know, Roger and Alex and all the rest of it. And then imagine it was just the dead silence of, you know, of what? What is there now? Charlie Kirk? Are they, I was going to say, are they relying on Charlie Kirk? Yeah, exactly. Wow. This is unbelievable. believe in the president's agenda, by the way, who is not a Trumpist who hated Trump and then immediately did a sharp U-turn to ingratiate himself with the family. It's sickening, sickening. Um, this guy is going to, you know, no. So just imagine the dead silence where all of that fun and mischief and noise and happy momentum was in 2016. It's not there anymore. They've killed us all. They've killed us all. They've ruined our lives. They've and they're not watching out for us either. That's the thing. 
they've taken our careers away from us. They've taken our livelihoods away from us. Those of us who have been decapitated, you know, me, Laura, Roger, Alex, you know, and of course, Roger's got by far the worst of it, but I'm probably, you know, the, the one, I guess, under him. And well, you were kind of one of the test cases. I mean, the well, I always am. Because I'm always the one that will tell the joke, you know, as, as Nick Monroe, angry Nick Monroe fans in his chat are, are currently discussing. Um, you know, I'm always the one who will go there. So I'm always the one that will come, they will come for first. But, um, but, but uh, you know, they've destroyed our lives. They've taken our livelihoods away. They've ruined everything for us. You know, we can't walk out in the street without risking somebody, you know, spitting or physically attacking us. We can't have bank accounts, you know, Chase is closing down Laura's account, closing down Proud Boy's accounts. I mean, you don't realize, you don't really understand how complicated and expensive it is just living now. Um, you know, if, imagine, imagine if your taxes overnight were doubled. Plus, uh, you had to get all the work that you normally get done in a five-day week in a two-day week because the rest of your week is literally just cram full of bullshit on the phone to the FBI, on the phone to this, on the phone to that. That's my life before I've even like written a book or left, or left the house. And it's by design. It's on purpose. They do, you know, and this is coming for all of you. All of you are getting this next. They've done us now. They've proven the case. Establishment Republicans did nothing. They sat back and thought, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, great, we can They actually people. like it. It's not, yeah, they, they're in favor of it. Left by these people, which they haven't and they can't because they don't actually believe any of the things that we were saying. So they, yeah, anyway. Um, uh, and, and, and this is all coming to you because not for us. And like, I'm at peace with it. I've got friends who have been destroyed by this. Roger's about to die in jail unless he gets a presidential pardon. Laura is, is will never be the same again. Um, I, I've managed to stay sane and happy, despite the fact that I probably fell from the, from the tallest height out of everybody. Um, but but even so, uh, I mean, it's just I have a healthy, like, ironic critical distance to life or something. But uh, now they've proven the case with me and then everybody else. They're going to come for the rest of you. And I have to say, like, watching, you know, Stephen Crowder get into trouble with getting his channel demonetized and all the rest of it, I, all I have to say is at fucking celebrate. Accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. I want all these people banned. I want all these people banned. I want every conservative show, every conservative <laughs> talking head, every commentator. I want them all fucking gone. I want them all off, not out of vengeance or bitterness, but because this is the only way that we can, from the cleansing fire of Armageddon, uh, from the apocalypse, actually rediscover the people who are popular for the right reasons and who actually have fan bases rather than simply purchased manufactured popularity. Um, you know, like like the like the the dreary ta the dregs that we have left, and they are the dregs. Well, all, by the way, they're all left wing. If you are like me, I mean, I know a lot of the Gamergate people, a lot of your fans are not especially right wing; they're more like libertarian, um, and they'll grow out of it. Some yeah. of them, yeah, go ahead. But, but, but people who are actually conservative, like me, I mean, I'm quite socially conservative, very very Catholic, despite everything. Um, you know, uh, yada yada yada. Uh, th th there there isn't anybody like that in public life. All the people that are now trying to fill the void, they're all centrists or left wingers. You know, the intellectual dark web, uh, whatever they're calling themselves this week, they're all lefties. They're all lefties. Even Ben Shapiro says that gay marriage is okay as long as the state doesn't compel. I mean, in his case, he cares about synagogues, but it's, uh, you know, um, uh, compelled churches or whatever, and the state should blah, blah, blah. They're all left wing. All of them. They all have left wing positions. Not a single one of them is sound on abortion except for Shapiro. Um, you know, these people will not save your civilization because they're all, you know, secular Jews and, and left wing atheists. These people cannot and will not save your civilization. There are no Republican stars left. Nobody.